Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. In this video, I'll tell you the top 5 tricks to crack the data analytics interview. If you're someone who is looking for a job in data analysis and you're not sure of the interview questions or the topics that are given most importance, so this video will help you out as I have given almost 30 plus interviews and I have listed uh, the most uh, asked topics that are required in data analysis. So yeah, let's get started. So first topic is mention the skills that you're great at. So this means that you need to make sure that you are only mentioning the skills that you are very good at because the interviewer will scan your resume and will check all the skills that you have mentioned in your resume and will ask the question only on the skills that you've mentioned. So if you have mentioned the Python as your skill that you are very confident of, then the interviewer uh, starts asking the basic question and you are not able to answer those questions. So this will uh, give a very bad impression on the interviewer and this will increase your chances of not getting hired. So make sure to not not mention a lot of skills such just to impress the interviewer mention only those which you feel confident at so second topic is sql is center so why am i saying sql is center is because of the time or importance given to it by the recruiters almost 80 percent of the time in the entire interview you'll be sol solving sql queries so you'll be given three to four queries in which one will be very easy and the second one will be intermediate and the third one will be very hard so if you're able to solve all these three queries and even uh, not all the three queries, uh, 2.5 queries if you're able to solve. So you will be uh, surely given more importance than the other candidates. So this will increase your chances of getting hired. And uh, talking about the queries that are uh, asked is uh, first one will be very basic, which is to retrieve data. And the second one would be depending on the your proficiency on uh, joins and group by having statements. So if you are able to use all those uh, functions of SQL, then surely you will be given more importance and then third qu uh, query would be uh, very hard and which will uh, involve a lot of functions in it so if you're able to solve all these three queries i'm sure you're going to get hired so another topic which is uh, very favorite among the recruiters is advanced excel in which they will be asking questions on vlookup xlookup power query pivot table conditional formatting and many other things so if you're good at uh, doing advanced excel stuff so they will open an excel sheet to you and will ask whether you can do the vlookup of particular table that is given and whether you can search for the values so if you're able to do that then surely you will given more importance on that and also as a data analyst you you yourself use excel almost 40 percent of the day so having a good grasp of this particular uh, tool is very very needed so the fourth topic is knowledge of visualization tool what is a visualization tool visualization tool is something that represent your data in charts and graphs form it basically beautifies your data so uh, if you have a data in boring excel sheet you can represent that data in beautiful dashboards which will impress the business people and that surely will increase your chances of getting hired if you know all of these skills so if you're not sure of these skills uh, like uh, you don't have idea over that you can surely check uh, the description box below i've linked uh, some of the videos where you can learn these skills so i hope that would be helpful for you so last but not least is uh, statistics why knowledge of statistics is important is because you are going to work on a lot of formulas which are purely related to statistics so if you are not familiar with the words such as mean median mode variance normal distribution and other kind of distribution and analysis such as predictive analysis descriptive analysis and many more so if you're not familiar with these terminologies then uh, I'm not sure how you're gonna work on uh, analyzing the data which are basically used to like measure the certain KPIs which are key performance indicators for example if you have a website so now uh, you need to measure how many people are converting from a click to a customer so for example a thousand people are clicking on certain website and only 10 are converting so you need to be able to write a certain formula of uh, <coughs> statistics for conversion of this uh, this particular number so if you know statistics then only you can solve uh, this particular problem and knowledge of such thing is very very required i hope i was able to help you out if you have a data analytics interview tomorrow um i think uh, this uh, would be helpful for you if it is helpful for you then please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye bye